This guy is a fucking monster. I don't know if we've ever had a heavyweight champion as big and as mean looking as this fucking guy is. Listen, I, I'm a fighter. I'm coming here to win. What doesn't matter how I hit him, I hit him to win. Francis Ngannou is special, man. He really is. I'm not done yet. I'm just on my way, going, doing my job, so I keep my, my head straight to my goal. The coming of the new king. If you want to like look at a picture like in history when you come back and go, this is the moment where Ngannou arrived and people realize like, holy shit, like this guy is for real. He didn't just do that to any guy. He did that to Alistair motherfucking Overeem. What do you think made you so confident about this fight, though? Because that was a guy who had, you know, been fighting since he was, you know, what, 15 years old, and he had 60 professional mixed martial arts fights. You have 10. That is, that is the past, man. We are talking about now, and now it's me. I'm the president. He was homeless, and in, in France, and he walked into a gym and said, "I would like to learn how to box." Francis Ngannou was like working in like a sand mine. He was digging sand when he was like a young guy. It was grueling and dangerous work, spending hours shoveling sand into the backs of trucks so it could be shipped to big cities for use in construction. Sometimes he would stand all day in water up to his shins, scooping sand out of the riverbed. Other days we spent at the bottom of a steep quarry where large chunks of earth often broke free from the high cliffs and tumbled down onto workers. I mean, he really started from the bottom. Yeah. I mean, he was there, he was homeless in France just like six years ago, five years ago. He was in, uh, he was in Africa and he had decided that he was going to take a trip to Europe and uh, he wanted to get away from where he was. When I was homeless, that was the, I think that was the, the best time in my life because he, that was the first time that I felt like I had the opportunity to do something. survival when you're in there with a guy like this you literally need to survive this guy will kill you that's that's how fucking powerful this guy is he threw the uppercut from hell all the way to heaven literally reached down to hell and brought it to heaven and landed in between somewhere on earth this at a Boston Celtics game about to fight in this building for the heavyweight championship. Could you have imagined that? It would be kind of weird, but you know, you have to believe things to make it happen. I know just get, I get here, of course, you, it's a huge, huge thing, but I do believe this for, for a long time and, uh, and work for it. And I still believe that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be more than what I am today. Today I'm nothing for what, compared to what, where I'm seeing myself. My weeks end, her legend was tenfold. The news of the heavenly oracle took hold. I stood in her audience now at the crossroads. A storm had developed surrounding a small home. Then I spoke not of to be with what's been and warned of the slippery slope that she slid. That I see an era of violence that brims and implored she consider this choice that I give. Yeah.